Imagine you are supposed to carry some goods from one place to another in a container. What type of a container will you prefer? We would firstly think whether it's light or heavy because carrying it should be convenient. Also, being light should make sure that it's durable. And what if you notice that the container is reacting with the matter inside? That would ruin all your hard work of carrying it. So you also need to be sure that it's not made up of reactive material. How are we supposed to find all these qualities in a single container? What material can you think of when you hear strong and durable? Yes, what comes to mind is a metal container. That would be ideally strong. But wait a second. Metals have a tendency to corrode or rust easily. So what should we use then? Guess what? We have plastic that comes to our rescue. Yes, you heard me right. Plastic has most of the qualities that makes it a choice for making several articles. And what are these properties? Amongst all, we take three most important properties that make it a material of choice. Non-reactive nature, poor conduction of heat and electricity, and lastly, strength and durability. Can you tell me examples of articles where each of these properties is used? Let me help you with that. Let's begin with their non-reactive nature first. We know that metals usually get corroded or rusted easily. What does this mean? It means that in presence of air and moisture, metals have a tendency to get physically degraded or to form oxides. But plastics do not show a tendency like this. In fact, plastics do not react with air, moisture or even with chemicals for that matter. As a result, no rust is formed. Hence, they can be widely used to store various types of liquids and chemicals. And where can this property be applied? Yes, airtight containers can be made to store food or liquid items. Does this property help us to predict another important application of plastics? Yes, in the medical field. Because they do not react easily with chemicals and are non-corrosive in nature. Bottles, sachets and strips of plastics can be used to store medicines. Along with this, even the syringes used are made up of plastic. And what about the gloves used by doctors? Yes, plastic exists there as well. Anything else that we should know? The non-reactive property of plastics is so reliable that it is used to even make threads that are used to stitch wounds. Yes. The threads used for stitches are made using plastic because it's safe on wounds. This was a short summary about the non-reactive property of plastics. Do you remember the next property? Yes, it was conduction of heat and electricity. Let's discuss this property in detail in the next lesson. <laughs>